Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84. Um, it's the middle of November, the 15th of November. It's a nice sunny Sunday now, the rain has stopped. And I've just come over to look at the three fruits that my Passiflora incarnata, or Maypop, has formed this year. This is the largest one, probably the size of a largish walnut. Um, now th this plant dies back to the ground each year and I'm hoping obviously it's going to survive the winter. You can probably see I've got three of them here now and I planted three to get some uh, some different genetic strains so there was more chance of fruit pollination. They've now finished flowering and you can see they're just starting to die back to the ground now. The leaves are all dropping off them. Now I've decided I think the best thing to do is well certainly to pick this fruit, I might leave the others on a bit longer uh, in fact the others are going mouldy, I'm going to pick all of the fruit and just give them a rub off and put them in the fruit bowl because there's obviously zero chance of them developing any further and um, ripening on the vine I don't personally think they're going to ripen anyway but I might as well take them off and put them in the fruit bowl with some apples just to see if by any chance they ripen uh, whether or not they're going to be hollow or have any flesh or fruit inside I've no idea but in any case I'm going to cut them off and uh, I just sort of like to show them on the video before I got rid of them pick that up off the floor in a second there we are so that is a maypop passiflora incarnata not supposed to be able to get fruit on them in this country because our um, our winters are normally thought to be too wet for them to survive uh, and the summers tend to be a bit too wet for them here as well but nevertheless that is a fruit that if it was to ripen would be edible inside but I'll pop it in the fruit bowl with the other two and see what happens and uh, should they get to a point where they shrivel and seem to be edible I'll cut them open and, and let you have a look in a separate video so that's my Maypop or Passiflora incarnata Thank you everybody for watching the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, um, obviously share it with anyone else you think might be interested, please uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and obviously if you hit the bell you will be notified on new videos that come out including updates if there are any to be done on my Maypop plants. So I'll catch up with you on the next video, Brett out for now.